Hi my planner friends, Julie Deal Mooney here today to do a flip through of my December planner with my Coco Daisy inserts, Cranberry Rose, as well as the Christmas bonus uh, kit. So um, let's get started. I have a couple of swag items here, a lovely uh, rose and a cute little stocking from Fur and You. And I'm gonna put those off to the side. And then um, the pouch came with one of the kits and I just added a little snowflake charm from Calibri Charms. And so then I have all my planner goodies in there that I take with me everywhere I go. I pretty much just transfer it from one pouch to the next um, month by month. And I love this one with the green plaid and the dark green tassel. So yeah, that's super functional and cute. Oh, there's something all over my planner. And um, then I have the zippered pocket, uh, zippered sticker folder. And I also put a different little snowflake from Calibri Charms. I can't seem to get it. It's a little one. Um, on this, and I also put some paper on the inside. On this side, I put one of the papers from the planner kit. And then on this side, I put one of the papers from the memory keeping kit. And um, I like that because then it hides all my mess of stickers inside. I also, um, last month, I started doing this. Once I get my planner set up, I take my die cuts and put them back in some of the packaging from Coco Daisy. And I sort mine by pictures, words, and then I have another one here that has shapes. Here we go, shapes and taps and uh, tags and that sort of thing. And so then I can use my die cuts on the go with me as well. So I have a bag that I keep both this stickered folder and the pouch and my um, planner all together. So I don't know what's gotten all over this here. Anyway, so um, I am using a red patent binder from Webster's Pages this month, and um, I love it, and I pretty much only use it for Christmas. I guess I used it for Valentine's last year, too. So, um, but, you know, there's only so many times red patent's going to work, but it's super cute at those times. So it's very full. Like, you can see once I open it, it kind of popped open. So, um... I think a lot of it is all the the uh, clips and stuff, which I don't take with me everywhere I go. Um, sometimes I dress it up more than others, but if I'm taking it to work every day, I definitely don't do the clips in the bottom, and I only do two or three at the top. Um, but um, So this month, um, I had been watching some of Christine Everett, who is the owner of Coco Daisy. Um, I had been watching some of her videos, and as she was doing them, I was just like, I love the way her pockets look. So I literally did some screenshots of her pockets just to kind of get an idea about what it was that I liked about it. And she just had a lot of stuff in there. So um, mostly I had all of this stuff. I did purchase this one little clip that I'm fussing with right here that has an ugly sweater on it. Um, I got that one from two weeks on Mars and it's an Etsy shop. Uh, they also did the cute, I didn't show this on the outside, um, the cute hanging thing with the peppermint. It's actually one hanging thing and then I clipped another one onto it. So one is a peppermint and the other one is like a little coffee cup. And so it's just a bunch of red and white Christmas stuff, but it looks really cute. Um, hanging off the side of my binder here. So yeah. All right. So back in here. Um, so I used a couple of uh, this. I made a tag out of one of the pocket cards and then I made a tag out of one of the Christmas kit papers um, and I just cut the corners off and uh, made cute little tags out of them. Put a little die cut on this one. This one, all I did was I just cut the corners off and stuck it in there. Um, this spiral Christmas tree is from Two Weeks on Mars. The felties are all from Opal Paper Co. Last year, I got them last year. I don't, I don't think they're in her shop. Um, the bow is, 
It was either the planner add-on kit or the planner classified kit. I can't remember. There are two of them. There's a this is the lighter one, and then there's a darker teal one. I made this bow. Uh, this rose is from Fur and You. I've had it for a while. And um, yeah, so I just used a couple of pocket cards from the pocket memory keeping kit, which is now being called the modern memory keeping kit. Um, and then the little Holly Jolly clip, which is the magnetic clip that it comes off. The topper came in the uh, planner classified kit this month. I think it kind of moves around. And then um, the papers that I used here were all from the planner kit. And then I used a little binder clip down here for the, from the planner classified kit to hold that holiday, holiday calories do not count. And I trimmed the pocket card to put it there. I didn't trim it to put it there. I trimmed it to put it somewhere else and I didn't like it somewhere else. And so I just moved it here because I just think that's super funny. So, um, yeah, so I'm pretty happy with my pocket this month. And, um, so this page, I don't always use this page in my planner, but I just really thought that was pretty. And, um, like snowflakes, we are all beautiful in our own way. I just thought that was a beautiful saying. So I went ahead and used that page this month. And, so, um, this is my first tab, and so I took, I've got it clipped together here from this little clip that, gosh, I think that was in the Planner Classified Kit. It might have been in the Christmas Kit. I can't remember. Um, so I took the printable, and I enlarged one of the pocket cards on the printable to make this uh, vellum piece here, and I just put printed it on transparency film, and then I took the vellum um, foiled snowflakes and from the memory keeping kits, and I just popped them up with a little piece of um, foam sticky, and I just put a few of those on there just to make that page a little more special. And then it just looks so cute with this um, clip that I just clipped them together. And behind it, I have a piece of heavyweight vellum. Um, and that would be the, it's not Glamour, it's the UV Ultra vellum. Um, and that is the thicker vellum that I have just so that this stuff doesn't show through. And so I went ahead and put the tab uh, from the planner kit on the vellum piece as opposed to this piece. And I, I kind of like that, having it on a back piece of paper as opposed to on the front, but it does make your planner fat. fat. So I use a combination of um, an A5 Dory book that I cut apart and also the A5 Loose planner inserts. So I have a bit of both of them in here. And this sheet here is from the Dory book. And I just really like this monthly page. And since I don't normally use this page, I don't have that little quick reference month thing here. Um, this month I happen to have it twice, but that's okay with me. So um, on the back side of that, I put my goals page and um, these red letters were from the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit, and then I used um, stamps. This stamp was from the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit, and then these layered snowflake stamps here were from the Pocket Memory Keeping Kit. Um, and so I still need to fill out my goals. I haven't done that yet, but um, I'll do that later. Then I did a gratitude page, um, and I used these super cute numbered stickers from the Christmas bonus kit. And so each day I'm just gonna write in my gratitude um, just to keep it all together and front and, and center. And then this gorgeous piece of acetate that was in the Christmas bonus kit. I'm not sure if that's gonna stay in here. I did hole punch it. So, you know, I did at least sacrifice that much of it, but I'm also going to do a December daily. So I may end up pulling this out of my planner and using it in my December daily. I'm not sure. It's just so incredibly gorgeous. Um, and so I didn't want to not use it. So I went ahead and put it in my planner. But like I said, I may move it. 
So this is where I put my prayers for the month. Um, I haven't gotten any yet, but I also like that vellum going over that because it kind of gets static electricity and it sticks it together. And so that way, if I'm flipping through my planner, nobody sees my prayer page. So um, here is my monthly page and um, I use the gold numbers from the Christmas bonus kit because I just thought that was just kind of special on this. Um, I don't really use this calendar as a reference page. This is more of a, um, I don't know what you would call it. Maybe just a, uh, just to remember what happened maybe more than actually me going and saying, okay, when is something happening? Because I use my um, very functional monthly page in the back, but I love doing this page. So, um, and I did a few different things this month. Um, I'm, I'm feeling very proud of myself over this one. I stamped, this one was not so good. I didn't do so great with that stamping, but this one was okay and this one was okay. I stamped a few things. I stamped here and here and here and the little trees. I love those little trees. Uh, the stamps were in both of the memory keeping kits. Um, and so this is just a mixture. And then I used some stickers from the Christmas kit. Um, I think I used uh, mostly stickers from the Christmas kit and then um, some letters, some stickers from the planner kit. Um, so just a kind of a mismatch of stuff, but I really liked the way that turned out. Um, if I was trying to find things on this, I don't know that I'd be able to, cause it's a bit, it's a little busy, but it's cute and it's fun. So, um, so yeah, so there's my monthly page. And then this is the last month and it's a free month, but I went ahead and printed it anyway because I've done it for the whole year. So this is my focus on declutter for uh, 2020. And so each month I did a, took a different area and worked on decluttering everything. Um, we did not organize the attic in November. So I really do need to do that. I haven't done that um, yet. So um, my husband has been talking about it, but quite frankly, it has not gotten cool enough for us to go up in the, I mean, it, it's just, it's so hot up there. So um, it hasn't gotten cool enough for us to really, really do anything up there. So that's where we are. So I'm really happy with how my currently page turned out. I used a piece of vellum um, and I used these uh, big letters that were in the, uh, what kit were those in? They were in the pocket memory keeping kit. Oh yeah, because these are the ones that came later. So I used a piece of vellum and I tied it with this little ribbon here that was in the memory keeping classified kit. And then I took, so I get the uh, traveler's notebook memory keeping kit, but I don't use the traveler's notebook that is in it. I just like it for all the other stuff. So I took the papers that were in the traveler's notebook this month and I made little envelopes out of several of them because they're easier to fold. The paper's lighter, you know, it's like paper instead of cardstock. Um, so I made these little envelopes and they, they, the little envelope slips in like this. And then I have this little tiny piece of paper in here that I'm going to be able to write my little, um, what I've been listening to, what I've been watching, what I'm loving and what I'm reading. So, um, so yeah, so uh, that just makes me happy, these little tiny envelopes. And um, this uh, rose here is from Fur and You. And the paper back here is from the Christmas bonus kit. This was one of my favorite pieces of paper. And I still have another one and I'm going to be doing de December daily. So I definitely wanna use that in my December daily. So, um, yeah, so since I had the Christmas bonus kit this month, I do have a bit more stuff left over than I normally do because I had extra stuff to start with. Um, and so, like, my goal is to use as much of it as possible. So it kind of feels like I didn't exactly hit my goal as well. But since I'm doing December Daily, I'll use it later and, and that'll be fine. So I have a dashboard here. Um, and I just love the dashboards for the, you stick them down and you have a page. I went ahead and added this silver and white washi from the, um, bonus Christmas kit, but, um, you know, you can just put it down there and it's done. So I do make a list of everything that I want to do for my planner. I'm feeling really good because all the boxes are filled in here right now. Um, 
I have not done stickers from the printables, so that's not filled in. But here's my, I make a list of the items that I want to use because sometimes when it's sitting in the tray, I don't realize all the stuff that I want to do. And so, um, also early on, I put, look at Christine's pockets for inspiration. So, um, you know, I try to write that kind of stuff down so that I'll remember to do it. I also take, um, I go and grab screenshots of a lot of things. So this month I was very organized with it on the front end. So I had all my swatches printed out on a sheet of paper. Um, I go in and I try to match the colors as closely as I can. Um, my, my printer doesn't print very saturated colors. So some of them are, greens are really hard sometimes. Um, I went ahead and printed a big picture of the A5 Dory book so that I could pick which weekly spreads I wanted to use. And then I just put pictures of the different kits and stuff in here so that I could refer back to it because I thought about it a lot on the front end this month. And then um, I make patterns in Adobe Illustrator to coordinate my, I make my own stickers for some of the things. And so mostly for the weekly spreads. And so these are the patterns that I did. And it it looks like more than it is. It's really just this set of patterns. And then I just recolored it in the different colors that match the weekly spreads that I picked back here. So um, this is just some photos that um, some of them are mine. Some of them are other people's just angles that I liked images that I liked. Um, this was inspiration from the Pinterest board. Like this one right here. Let's see if we can get up close. Um, you can see I wrote currently next to it. Um, it was a page that had the envelopes on it like that. And so um, I took that as my inspiration and then went back here and made this currently page. So mine is a little different. I mean, it's not exactly like that, but it's kind of, that was my jumping off point to give me the ideas for that. And then there are a couple of pictures of <laughs> that I just screenshotted her um, videos of her pockets just to, just to stop and look at it and see what they looked like. Um, I did, I made a monthly photo list because at the beginning of the month, before I have used all the stuff, there are certain photos that I want to take. And so these are the photos that I want to take before I start peeling all the stickers off the stickers and that sort of thing. Um, these are just some drawings, some layouts of ideas that I had thought this was my, I did this one and I did this one. I did not do this one at all. So maybe I'll use that idea in my December daily. I'm not sure, but um, just some layouts that I like having a little thumbnail so that I can kind of sketch it out and think about what I want to do with it. And so I just printed up a bunch of these pages. And so I'll just move these into my next month's planner once it gets here. This is just a printout that I made. I typed up all of the um, the planner challenge and I turned it sideways. And then I left a line over there so that I could describe what photo I'm going to use because I take a lot of my photos in advance and then um, they're just in my phone in a folder. And then I, when the prompt comes, comes up, sometimes I need a little reminder of what photo I was going to use for that prompt. So I ended up writing it there. And then I can mark if I have a photo so that I just know. and. I don't, I don't post every day, but I try to post as much as I can. So, um, for the challenge, for the challenge, I would say I probably hit about, I don't know, 85% maybe. So it is Diet Coke time. Please excuse me for a moment. Oh, that's good. Okay. Um, I printed another one of the, um, printables on vellum and I got some kind of gunk on it um and I just liked how that looked this dashboard is very simple and I just liked how it kind of added just a little bit to the edges of it but then you can just see it kind of simple too and um and I'll tell you my inspiration for this one was a box of cards from Target um it was like the box of cards looked like this and I just took a photo of the box of cards on the shelf and it was similar to this. The snowman looked kind of like this. Um, but another thing that I did was I took that washi from the Christmas bonus kit and um, I just laid it down on a piece of paper and it really, it's hard to tell, but see, you can see there, you can see where 
I just lined up the washi and made a background out of it for, um, oh, my little snowflake fell out, which is why I don't leave them in there if I'm carrying it around. Um, so it made a cute background for this page with the snowman. And so um, I had a die cut. I'm not sure if that die cut was from this year. It could have been from last year because I did go back to my 2019 kits and pull some die cuts from the December kit. So it could have been from that. Um, this Mistletoe Kisses and Christmas Wishes is from Opal Paper Co. on Etsy from last year as well. Once again, I just put a... Um, dashboard from the dashboard kit on the back and so I'm not gonna lie I struggle more with this page than any other page in the inserts and it's one of my favorites it comes in the loose inserts it's gorgeous and I can't really figure out how to use it and so um, I'm sure many of you can relate I'm kind of struggling with my planner um, not this because this is pretty solid this is how I like my planner every month. Like, this is what I want for my everyday living. But I had a Hobonichi Weeks that I was using for social media for work. And I don't really, like, I've been looking at them to purchase another one, but it just, I'd really like it all to be in one place. So I'm going to try my social media posts for the week on this sheet of paper. And then I have to send an email out to my members at work, um, and so I just need to keep up with what it is that I want to be telling them every week on the email. And really, that's all I do in the Hobonichi weeks. So I'm hoping that the combination of this and moving this to my dashboard here, I had something else here. I think it was shopping. But I, I manage a senior center, and the senior center is not actually open. It's more like just a fun place for people to come and hang out and play cards and take exercise classes and stuff. Um People around town call it the country club. And so it's just a really fun place. So um, so I just need to, to email them, but I'm not going shopping right now. So that's what that's all about. So, um, so on my dashboard here, I have email. And then Sheila, who's my boss. So anything that I would need to talk to her, I don't see her every day. Sometimes I don't see her for a week. So um, if I need to talk to her, I just kind of need to keep a list of it. And then when I finally talk to her, because I don't want to call her for every little thing. So there's that. Um, I put the hydrate sticker down. I don't use it, but I'm going to try to use it this month. I am going to like, I don't, I don't know if I say this every month, but this month I'm really going to give it an effort of trying to track my water. So I'm going to do that. And then this is where I put my hours that I work so that I can keep up with them to make sure that I've worked 40 hours because I don't always work exactly eight hours a day. Um, so this is my first weekly spread. So this is um, one of the spreads that I picked out of the Dory book. I do make my own, um, what do you call this thing? Bookmarks. And um, I try to make them transparent because I don't like them to totally impede my view of the day. So I don't know. You can't really see through that one. Um, these are stickers that I make myself. Most of these, um, these did come. I oh, can't remember which kit those came in. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. The classic sticker kit. I think that's where they came. I think they came in the classic sticker kit, which I am truly loving the classic sticker kit right now. Um, I think I kind of wander back and forth which sticker kit I like the most. Um, but right now, for me, it's the classic sticker kit. I am just absolutely loving it. That's where these stickers ca came from. This one came from the sticker kit, but the two, t the three uh, bo the boxes um, came from the classic sticker kit. So I'm really liking that right now. So um, I shamelessly knocked off the Coco Daisy stickers. They'll look like this. Mine are a little bit smaller, um, but they're very similar. Um... And so these were from the um, Classified Planner Kit. Is that right? Yes, the Classified Planner Kit. And um, so then I put a couple of, um, this is about just social media and keeping up with my um, tasks as a design team member of the Coco Daisy team. Um, and so there, it's not like, 
there's a ton of stuff. So a lot of times these pages are kind of left with white space, but I needed a space that was kind of separate from my everyday life to kind of keep up with this stuff. So I did put in all the prompts for the challenge. Um, my blog post will go up on the third. And, um, and so these, these clipboards are not so much that I have something to do on Monday and I have something to do on Friday. This is more of a, this is kind of, um, things that I want to do in my planner, this is, is where this would be. And so, um, so I even have my December daily that I'm going to start working on. I need to take some photos. So, um, so that, what, that's what that page is about. And so, um, someone asked me, um, why don't you ever show your daily pages? And I don't show my daily pages because I I thought they were so boring, no, but no one would want to see them. So we're going to go through one week of my daily pages, but then I'm not going to make you look at the rest of the weeks because, because why? So I do print these on my printer. And um, so I just put the date up here and then I put gratitude and best three things of the day um, over here. And then this is stuff that needs to be done. So, um, so I have stuff already filled in for Monday, November the 30th. And then as I find things out that need to be done, I'll go ahead and put them on there. So I already have some things for Wednesday. Um, but other than that, they all look exactly the same. My first Monday one always looks funky because if you see the font here is different than the font for the rest of the days. I started with that font. I didn't like it. Oh yeah, both of the fonts. Um, I think those might have been the fonts that I used last month. I'm not sure. But these fonts seem to match this month's better, so I switched them. Um, and so I have things written that need to be done on Thursday and some things on Friday. And then um, on Saturday and Sunday, I don't use my planner so much on the weekends. It's not that I don't have things to do, but I tend, if I write something down, or I just jot it down on a piece of paper because it's just sitting out on my desk for me to look at. Um, but I do have, um, uh, I have one page for Saturday and Sunday so that I can write things down if I know things in advance so that I can, you know, I can look at it before the weekend. I'm sorry, I'm distracted by there's some cruddy stuff on my desk here. Um, so uh, this is Ohio State versus that team up north. and um, But who knows if we're going to play or not because of COVID. So isn't this just a kicker of the year? So then we start all over again. Same thing. Um, this is for social media at work. Then I have my email, Sheila, Hydrate, Hours. Um, and I use that cute gold polka dot of washi that came in the, what, what kit did that come in? Came in the memory keeping kits. And it is so cute. I got two of them and I'm so glad I have two because that's like washi I'll use for the rest of my life. Um, then I went with a blue theme for the second week of December, which is week 50. And so I like to have my weeks have all the stuff that I know about, I like to have that in here and ready to go so that I don't have to think about it. Some people do this weekly. I like having mine done monthly so that I'm just kind of living in this planner from this point forward. And so, um, because quite frankly, it's not going to be too long before January's kit gets here. So, yeah. Whew. Um, so here is my social media pages. As you can tell, there's, there's just not anything here. Um, if the, if I get my kit, a lot of times I get it on the 12th or the 13th, somewhere around in there. So, um, I may need to do an unboxing video. So I have that written. So I have all my daily pages clipped together, not because I'm trying to hide anything, but because there's nothing there. Um, this gorgeous poinsettia was from Hearts by Emma. And she is in England, so if you are in Europe, um, she's a good source for felt, gorgeous things. Um, her stuff is so pretty. Um, it takes a long time to get from her to me. So, um, and I love her and you as well. So don't get me wrong, I love them both, and they both do gorgeous stuff. It just takes longer to get it from Hearts by Emma, so I have to be, like, have to be prepared and in advance for that. But I love that one. I got it last year. Um, so here we go again, my page, 
This is my dashboard for the week. Um, I got a Misty for my birthday, and so I tried it out here um, with this stamp. I don't love this stamp, but I ordered those stamps. I don't know if you saw those tall, skinny alphabet stamps that are in the January kit. And, uh, well, they're not in any of the kits, but they're just sold extra, and they're tall, skinny, so I ordered those. So I think those would be perfect for this because it's got alphas and numbers. I love this one. If these numbers were the same size as these, like if these numbers were the same size as, because this all came together, but like this messes with my head that the 14 and the 20 are fatter. They're all the same height, but the 14 and the 20 are fatter than the December or the 2020. Actually, the 2020 is skinnier than all of it. So yeah, if they had made that all consistent, I'd be all in, but I'm not liking that mishy-mashy, but but I tried it because I just wanted to try stamping. So, and now that I have this Misty, I'd like to try stamping some more. And I have to admit, it was easier with the Misty than it would have been any other way. So, um, same thing. Sorry, I digress. Um, this pattern here, that my bookmark pattern, I just love that pattern. It is, I, I, it just, it just makes me happy. Kind of looks like a poinsettia, uh, but just vaguely. So um, this week we're getting into a little bit more Christmas colors here. I've got everything set up. Mostly these are all my stickers. I think there's a, one from one of the Coco Daisy kits. Um, this cutie is from Opal Paper Co. Social media, same thing. Not much different. And there is the darker bow that came in the uh, Planner Classified kit, I think. Pretty sure. And here we go again. And I just sacrificed some stickers up there. I put these this week stickers, but you can't see them. So that on me. One a good pick right there for what stickers to use. Um, but the, it'll still work. So here we go into Christmas week. So it's very red and green here. Um, I'm on vacation this week, so I'm all excited about that. Um, I used some of the stickers from the uh, Christmas bonus kit here. And um, I just love the way this week looks. This makes me so happy. It's so Christmassy. Takes so little. So this is my uh, social media. So I, I, quite frankly, I put these puffy stickers here for Merry Christmas, thinking this was my regular spread. And then I was like, I don't have any room to write Merry Christmas because I put all this other stuff here. So it was fine. I put Merry Christmas gigantically on that page. Um, so my next tab is, it's really finance, but there's not one in the little tab stickers uh, that come in the planner kit that say finances. So I just use the December goals because quite frankly, I'm not reading these tabs. I'm just going, I know which one it is. Um, I made this bow. Oh, here's the Simon clip. Isn't he cute? He's so cute. Um, once again, I was really big on um, printing the printables on acetate this month. And I took a glitter dot from the memory keeping kits. I think also the planner add-on kit had them. And I just dotted each, put one in each of the middle of the little, I guess there's snowflakes. Uh, I don't know if I said that. I made this bow. Um, and then I put a piece of the lighter, the Glamma vellum behind that. And then I just put some die cuts from the planner kit and one of the memory keeping kits behind it so that it showed through that little window right there. So that they show through. And then the paper also, the striped paper also shows through just a little bit. Um, and so I just really liked that whole layered thing. And then I, um, and the reason that I did all of that on the front was because when I decided to do this layout, I didn't like the tab over here. There was too much going on for the tab to be on this side. So I ended up putting what I would consider should be the front of the, of the dashboard on the back. Um, and so, so yeah, so, I cut this out of one of the pocket cards that was in the Christmas kit. And um, let's see what else. Um, this red stripe paper was from my stash and this red paper was from the Christmas kit. 
And then the rock out with your sock out was uh, part of the pocket kit, which is now called the Modern Memory Keeping Kit. And then the teal papers were from the Memory Keeping Kits. And then all these ribbons were just from my stash. Um, and so, yeah, that made me happy. A little, little stocking with a little fringe makes me happy. So um, I printed these. This is another, this one went, this um, felt dangle was from Hearts by Emma and it was part of the same series that that other one was. And I'm just gonna sit it up there. So um, I don't usually show these pages because I have all my personal financial stuff in them. And that's just a little weird for all of us. Um, but I printed them for next year. And so I just stuck them in here. Um, I'll probably get this started for next year. So this is my bills to pay page. And um, I made all of these printables myself. And so I just have the company and then I just have a little dot over here that I can fill in if I've paid it and what day of the month it's due and the amount. And so I just order them from the first of the month to the 31st of the month on this side. And then I just mark them off as I pay them each month, just so that I know I can look at a glance. Okay. Today's the 10th. What to do in the next week or whatever. And then I also like to work out, okay, I get paid weekly, which is really weird. And so I put down what bills have to be paid in between each uh, paycheck. And I've, I've, I've kind of not been great about doing this because um, I'm better at managing my money, so it's not so important what has to be paid each week. So, yeah, but but I do use it. I try to write down what's due each week so that also I can just refer to it so that I know that I get things paid. Most everything automatically drafts at this point. Um, this is my monthly worksheet. Someone at the Coco Daisy fan page had something that was similar to this that they um, downloaded from someone. I have to say, I started this sheet off with, I looked at theirs and then I just adjusted it to be exactly what I wanted. So I have income, I have my fixed expenses, I have any debt payment, I have savings, and then I have my variable expenses here. And then on the back side, I have the, um, I can jot down the individual variable expenses, which I laugh because crafting only has, you know, this many spots. And sometimes I use more than that. Um, so, so yeah, so that's kind of my December finances at a glance. So that's kind of what's in my financial section generally. Um, I do have account trackers that I have, like each account and what the balance is and what I pay each month so that I can kind of look at it. Um, and so um, I have one of those for each of my credit cards and, and that sort of thing. Um, so my next dashboard is a complete knockoff from, I think this might have been an Allie Edwards product play from last year um, from December Daily. But I just thought it was such a cute idea and such a cute way to use um, the adorable papers from Coco Daisy. And so... Um, I did all this on a piece of acetate. And so on the front side, I used um, uh, uh, what is it called? Um, papers from the memory keeping kit and then a glitter paper from my stash. And then I used that vellum. That's kind of hard to see right there. That tree right there is the vellum with the snowflakes on it that was from the classified planner kit and, um, and then just a white and then on the back side of it because you could see the glue I did I repeated a lot of the trees but what I used on the back side of it was um, papers from 2019 Coco Daisy's kit so these were some of the papers from last year so it was just a nice kind of thing to look at this year's papers and last year's paper. So those were just left over. And then I cut a little gold tree from out of my stash. And so, yeah, so I like, I like how that looks. And then, so I just did the snowflake paper behind it. So that was kind of the background for the trees. And I put the notes um, tab on that one, on the background paper. 
And so then I printed out some blank sheets of paper from the uh, printable so that I have some note pages. And then I accidentally, I don't even know how I did this, but I accidentally printed one of these pages on cardstock. And I was like, well, I'll just throw it in there. I don't know what I'll do with it. And I had the Simon card in my front pocket, but he was really too big for the front pocket. So I just stuck him here for right now, but it seems like kind of a back far way out of the way place for him. And I think he needs to be seen more than that. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with Simon there, but um, I did take um, one of the die cuts and fold it over and I cut it so that it made a little flag. And I used one of the binder clips from the um, classified planner kit. Uh, to clip him in there. There were four of those and they are so cute. So yeah, so there's that. And then, oh, and I just have one more sheet of paper randomly. So these are um, my inserts that I use for future planning. Um, I started in September. I made them. I made these inserts as well. And so I started in September and I'll get rid of the 2021s next month and I'll just use the 2021s. I'll just pull this whole section out. But because um, they all, yeah, I just didn't want it to start with November. So I just left it all in there. But this is the calendar that I really refer to if I want to look at my monthly what's going on. And I only use pencils in this because I erase it, except for I wrote in pen right there. I don't know what. I was in a meeting and I didn't have a pencil and I wanted that. I wanted to make sure that I got that in my planner. Why I didn't write it back here on the day page and do it later, I don't know, but I didn't. I wrote in it in pen. That's the first time in a year that I've written in pen on one of these pages. I'm kind of aggravated with myself over it. So, um, so yeah, so those are just go on throughout 2021. They go all the way to December of 2021. So I have things already written in there that I know about. And then I'll just write more things as they come up. This thing is so fat. I may end up having to take this sticker pocket out. So I'm going to take this sticker folder out to show it to you at least. Um, and I'm going to hold it down so that I can get that clip back together. Okay, so the first thing that I did, I was waiting on um, the... Um, Christmas kit to get here. And so, and I also discovered that I could print 12 by 18 uh, printables. So I um, went and I think I designed some patterns. I think I did these myself. And then I just printed them and um, I used one of the dashboards, the personal size dashboards, and put another little piece of memory keeping paper behind it for the front of it. And um, this bow is from he needs papery. I'm going to pull that off. So, um, so I did a fold over. Let me get it over here so you can see all of it. And those are um, glaring. So I'm going to kind of hold it like that so they don't glare so much. Well, this one is too. Anyway, I'll, I'll pull it up. You can see it closer. So, um, so I did a three fold and um, and then I just attached a pocket here that's the exact same paper, so you can't even really hardly tell, but there's a pocket here. I had took some of the Coco Daisy packaging and attached it on the back to hold the um, glitter dots, and then I used a piece of paper behind it. I don't even know what kind of paper. Oh, it was one of the, um, it was a um, pocket card, and I just stapled that with a ribbon to the pocket card so that it will easily go in and out of this pocket. Except for now that I've pulled it out. I don't know if I can get it back in. Wow. Okay. All right. There we go. So let's start on this side. So the first thing that I have over here is um, this was... This reindeer feed thing was from the Silhouette Design Store. And then I just put some of the um, sequins and stuff from the Memory Keeping Classified Kit. And then I had a few, those little white, I don't know if you can even say, I had a few different things that I added in there um, that were from my own stash just to add to it. And so I thought that was kind of cute. It looked like a little bag of reindeer feed. And so the Let It Snow was one of the uh, pocket cards, so in the pocket memory keeping kit. 
and I just had these um, corners, photo corners, and then I used the notepad out of the planner kit, and this vellum was from the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit, and then um, this was one of the little wooden uh, trees from the Memory Keeping Classified Kit, but I just took a marker and colored it green because I wanted it to be green, and I attached one little sequin on top like a little star, and I used a couple of die cuts, and this, this was the most interesting thing that I've done in a while. So I saw somewhere on YouTube that you could print on glassine bags. So I had this little tiny glassine bag and I attached it with washi tape kind of rolled up on the back of it in the middle of a sheet of paper. And then I just printed a big portion of the paper so that it printed all around the glassine bag as well as the glassine bag itself, and it actually worked. So I thought that was pretty darn cool that you can print on a glassine bag. So die cuts from the uh, memory keeping kits, the planner kit, one of the memory keeping kits, I think Traveler's Notebook. Um, and this was just a piece of the paper that I cut out and put one of those little stickers on it from, um, is it from the planner kit that has the little ring reinforcers? And then I just stapled a piece of ribbon to the top of it. And so that was everything on that panel. So now let's move to this panel. So um, the ho, 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 and the ribbon was from my stash as well as the striped paper. And so I just adhered the striped paper here and cut a cutout here. And so now I have a pocket back here for my alphabets. And I was going to use these um, little snowflakes as the pull because I had two sheets of alphabet stickers that I was going to put in here. And then I ended up putting a bunch of sheets of alphabet stickers. So I just grabbed one of those binder clips from the um, planner classified to hold them all together. And so um, I just put some of the... Um, I don't know what these little glass bubble dot things are called and the sequins. I just glued them down individually here just to add a little interest to that. And then I made a pocket that I was going to put my die cuts in, but then I ended up putting them in the sticker folder. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with this envelope, but it's pretty cute. Um, so I just put a piece of paper back there and then I made the envelope with one of the um, pieces of paper and I tied it with a bit of twine. And then I used these little white puffy stickers that say warm and cozy. And it's easier to read that in real life than it is on film. It's very difficult to see that warm and cozy on film. But um, in real life, you can definitely see it because it sticks up and there's a little bit of shadow to it. Which I'm not really sure why that doesn't show up on film. But it doesn't. Okay, so the last section, I'll just open this up. So I already told you I did the um, Cocoa Daisy packaging, stapled a little ribbon to it so I can pull this out. Um, this was just a pocket card that I um, cut. I trimmed very closely. Oh, Y'all, my dog is mad because I've shut the door because I won't let him in because he comes in and he snores when I videotape. And so he's mad. That's him barking outside because I won't let him in. Um, I just have a few little stickers here, some alphabet stickers, and that, um, it, they're stuck. Um, I think it got stuck to the bottom of the pocket. That wasn't good. Um, the little round transparent dots, uh, from the sticker kit, and, uh, and so I just have those in the pocket here. Um, I used a couple of die cuts from the planner kit, and then this Mary Everything, was from last year's Christmas kits, so um, from Coco Daisy. So that is my fantabulous sticker folder. And then oh. I put a little, oh, he's so aggravated, but that's okay. He'll live. I put a little um, Velcro dot right here, and then the other one is right here. And so when I close it, those two little Velcro dots match up, and that kind of keeps it closed. And so and then it goes back in the back of my planner, but I won't make y'all watch me hold my stuff, all of my pages down to put it in here because I'm going to have to push them down. So I'll just sit it here right here like that. But I also put the little pom-pom trim on it right there so that it kind of gives some visual interest. And I may just leave it sitting in there rather than clipped into the 
Eclipse. Um, but here is the pin for this month, and it is gorgeous. It's a teal blue with teal um, crystals and silver hardware and a cute little uh, daisy on top. And so there you have it. That is my planner for December. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video and if you have please hit like and subscribe and the notifications bell so you'll be notified every time I post a video. All right thank you so much everyone have a great day.